All right, guys, what is up? Welcome to Hoodies, episode 50 freaking six. Today, we are coming live from the beautiful sunshine state of Florida in the second biggest city down here, Miami. Today, I have a special guest on his second or third Hoodies. He's done New York and I think in Chicago with me. Elijah Marshall on his 13 636 that he built earlier on this year and my girl with a set of fresh plastics on it. Today, we are on the north side of Miami and we are gonna be focusing on two primary neighborhoods as I got a bunch of suggestions to go to it between Liberty City and Little Haiti. Because to be honest, I really don't have a fucking restaurant for us regardless, so we're gonna find something. Definitely gotta keep our heads on a swivel as shit is not sweet around here for multiple reasons. Miami also has some of the roughest neighborhoods that we're gonna go explore today. Plus the cops don't like us very much, but let's get into it. 12 seconds later. Got a rolling burnout, Mark. That's always so funny when you come uh, into town somewhere and you know when a big sunrise just happened because of all the rolling burnout marks all over the damn streets. so many damn bikes out here. What is this, a CBR 300 or 400? Nice. It's like, ah, I'm getting the fuck away from these guys. These guys are gonna give me in trouble. My MSF instructor warned me about you, Eli. They literally have a picture of this idiot at the MSF course saying avoid him at all costs. Your turn. Come on! That would be crazy if this dude just picked up that sock through under like that. Let's turn down one of these neighborhood streets here. We just got into Liberty City when we crossed over there. The crime rate here is surprisingly high for the small population of this city. I gotta admit it, guys. Miami in 2021 had a population of a little shy of 450,000 residents. Now with that little over 400,000 residents, 249 homicides were reported in 2021. That is a pretty damn high per capita murder rate here. I couldn't really find a website that documented neighborhood by neighborhood. However, when uh, people did see that I was in Miami, I immediately started getting requests for, I think it was Overtown, Little Havana, Little Haiti, a lot of these places right away. Man, my guy's in handcuffs getting some treatment there. So Miami, unlike uh, Chicago and some of these other cities that I've gone to, still has quite a bit of uh, housing projects within it. They also have moved the Section 8 as well to take care of some of the more impoverished areas. However, there's still a decent amount of housing projects spread throughout a lot of neighborhoods here. Liberty Square redevelopment. Drug-free zone, no loitering. This is crazy, man. This goes just block by block by block by block, all like this. <laughs> it's funny, me and Eli do shows together all the time on these same exact bikes. Now we're down here in some condemned housing projects in uh, North Miami. <laughs> Definitely still in Liberty City, Liberty Square housing projects. Wow. There's literally murals all over this neighborhood. Like, you cannot look anywhere without uh, seeing murals. Everybody can be great because anybody can serve. Martin Luther King. Hey, hungry. You're hungry? This idiot got the wrong size pants yesterday, so he looks like he's in, like, I don't even know, mom pants. He got size 40 jeans, so he's got the biggest belt on in the world. <laughs> Only this idiot goes out of town and doesn't bring any clothes with him. You guys see us kind of rolling the reds around here? Um, that's definitely a Florida thing, just because that is where they do end up getting caught up, is at the lights. I 
can't believe how hot it is and how cool this bike is still running. It's at 191 right now. That's fucking incredible. It's truly like having a woman. You never know what you're going to wake up to with, uh, with a 636. She could be pissed off at you, could be a little bit temperamental. She could be running a little hot at times. Oh, she could even be leaking. Gentlemen, I know you know what I'm talking about. And now I believe on this side of the highway, this is little Haiti. I know quite a bit of uh, the violence in Miami happens around these couple neighborhoods up here as uh, the drug epidemic has hit this part of town extremely hard. Church, church is letting out. Puerto Rican flag, Colombian flag, Mexican flag. Oh, there's something that I, I learned about too. This is a mainly minority city. And by that, I mean this is a 70% Hispanic city. I don't know if it has to do with the proximity of it to our southern neighbors or its tropical environment. Sofa's just tossed in the street, what the hell? So much freaking artwork! Hey brother. Hey, how's it going? Could I ask you something? Do you know where uh, a good food truck is around here? I see they're closed. Oh, they're closed? What? Is there any food trucks that are open on a Sunday around here? A food truck, but um, there's uh, windows right up ahead. Take your right here. Okay. Appreciate it, man. Breakfast, brunch, and lunch. Now we're talking, Eli. This is nice. Right. Welcome to Hood Eats, episode 56 in Little Haiti, Miami. No, I'm not Uber. I'm here to eat uh, the rice and asparagus with the uh, salmon. Ambition in the neighborhood that's full of regrets. Maybe full of neglect, but we ain't missing the breath. As we're breaking down the history, I bet you get the question. Food is the best, so we're taking the test. Yeah. You guys ever find yourself in the Midtown to uh, Little Haiti area of Miami, I would definitely suggest stopping at uh, Amore de Miami. Definitely tell the fish is super fresh, the sauce is good, and it's just a nice, healthy ulterior. Then fast food, the whole damn stunt trip. Good, Eli? Hangover cure, for sure. I'm full. Come on, stop your school sticker around her. Pop over our local bucks training for AM stop your school this year. Richie's got it. straight into the beach. I thought about it. I don't know. I think we'll get stuck, dude. The sand is pretty dead. I think this is the first time Hoodies has been on a beach, people. Look at the container ship way out there. Is it nice? Guys, if you enjoy this series, make sure to check out the playlist, Hoodies. Um, literally, 55 other episodes besides this one for you guys to watch. If you guys want to support all the traveling that I'm doing uh, for this channel as I continue to travel for hoodies and other rides, uh, check my Patreon down in the link down there. Uh, truly are the lifeblood behind this channel. They always get behind the scenes content. They always get early releases to all my other videos. So if that sounds nice to you, check out that link down below. If you guys like the video, you know what to fucking do. Give it a dislike. If you guys got something to say, definitely don't go to the comments. And if you're new here, make sure to not subscribe as we are your least favorite motor vlogger, not your favorite. As always, me and Elijah are signing out from Miami Beach before my GoPro dies. What a blessing it has been. And uh, we're gonna go to the lot and go ride these things one last time before we go back to the snow. Oh, it is snowing back home. It is snowing back home. I'm not going back. I'm not going back. I'm, li I'm living down here. I'm not fucking leaving. I ain't fucking leaving. And what the hell? Maybe I am leaving. <laughs> Maybe I am leaving. As always, guys, respect life. Least favorite motor signing out from Miami Beach. Peace.